chaos, constant impressions, notifications, addictions, and then peace. We live in a world where everyone fights for your attention, social media using algorithms to know you better than yourself. I have fallen into this trap myself, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling with hours passing by, wasting time with nothing to show for, but no more. For this project I started with one objective, meditate every day for at least 10 minutes. And once I had done this, I knew I had to take this one step further. I had to truly take back control of my own actions. So I wanted to do a dopamine detox. What is dopamine and why should you do a dopamine detox? Dopamine is a natural occurring chemical in our brain which is stimulated by doing or even thinking about doing any pleasurable activity. This can be video games, binging, scrolling for hours and hours on your phone, drugs or even sex. And too much dopamine in our brains leads to side effects like binging, gambling, a dopamine detox doesn't mean to entirely remove all forms of dopamine. We still need it to function in our daily lives. It's just managing unhealthy habits for healthier ones. Now let's go back to the beginning of this project where it was fairly simple. Meditate every day for at least 10 minutes. But first I had to research this. Why should you meditate? Meditation reduces stress, improves emotional health and lengthens attention span with many other benefits as well. Just what I was looking for. This is my first day of meditation and I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes straight and I'm just gonna be focusing on my breath and just being as calm as possible. But that is 10 minutes starting now. My mind was very distracted throughout this period. I constantly had to like readjust and think about like my breathing through my nose. A lot of thoughts. I don't think this benefits immediately after you do this. So we just gotta keep sticking to it for the next 10 days. This is day two and today I'm just sitting very nicely in this chair, hoping it's very comfortable. Yeah, 10 minutes starts now. Second day of meditation, it actually felt a lot nicer. Maybe because I just sat like laid back. There was times where I was like, I'm falling asleep. Day number three of meditation. So I don't know if I really feel anything yet, but I have been like very effective these past days, like very focused. I don't get distracted that like that much easier anymore. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to meditating because I just feel so calm and it's just a nice feeling. Even while traveling, I kept the meditation going, but the 10 minutes flew by faster and faster and I felt calmer and calmer. Very calm and it just flew by this time. So nice. So much that I feel like falling asleep. I was about to fall asleep. <laughs> that felt very fast, very nice, let's go. Day 10 was the day I decided to take this project to the next level. To add to this meditation challenge, I'm also doing a dopamine detox, where I'm deleting all social media from my phone. I can't use YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, no. For 10 more days, and of course I'm still gonna be meditating because I actually love doing it. But let us do 10 minutes of meditation. For my dopamine detox, I set three rules for myself. First, 10 minutes of meditation every day, no exceptions. Two, no music unless I'm exercising. Three, no YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or any other social media. However, some exceptions from these rules are when I'm with my family or I need a tutorial for my work. So all I had to do was start my dopamine detox. So day one of dopamine detox, how has it been? So far it's actually been really, really easy. Like I took the metro today to like do some calisthenics with one of my mates. And I had like no urge to pick up my phone. I even brought my book and I just read the entire time. Like just got so sucked in. So easy to focus now that I don't have all that noise in the background that I always have to check my phone and such like. Just med meditated, super easy. Like I don't have to force myself to do something. It's just happening. I'm just like doing it. It's easy, nice. Let's keep going with this challenge. So today I just did my meditation and today I did 15 minutes and it just, I mean, there were some mind wandering and such. But the big thing is if I'm reading something or just sitting in the train or by myself, usually I would just pick up my phone and go on Instagram. But right now I have no reason to do it. And the phone is so distant from me now that I just have no need for it. And it feels so refreshing. It's time to meditate for day 15. Let's do 15 minutes.
The biggest benefit I found with the dopamine detox is how I just like never touch my phone when I'm reading, when I'm in the train, bus, or when I'm just bored. I don't pick up my phone now. I don't feel addicted anymore. The annoying part, however, is the lack of music. I love music. I love listening to music when I bathe, when I make food, and it's just so empty now, so silent. That's the difficult part for me. 15 minutes, day 16. I love meditating. You just feel so quiet and your focus is just heightened to another level. You don't get distracted as easily and it's just nice in such a crowded world that we live in. The dopamine detox is a little annoying. I just like knowing what's happening and that's the best way with Instagram, with YouTube, Facebook and such. But I still can't wait to actually be able to watch a YouTube video again freely with no strings attached. But I've enjoyed these nine days so far with the dopamine detox, but I can't wait for the last day tomorrow to be over. I have enjoyed my dopamine detox, but I'm also happy that this is the final day. We're gonna do my 10 minutes of meditation. I love meditation. It's something I'm gonna keep doing. Here we go. What benefits have I found in these 20 days? First, I found a new favorite thing to do, meditate. It's a great way to get control over your mind and your thoughts, which is something I really want to get mastery over. I can use it to reduce stress, improve my focus, and increase attention span. Like, why wouldn't you have more of that? And all it takes is around 10 to 15 minutes, like a day. It's nothing. Even though I'm done with this challenge, meditation is still something I do every single day. Now, what did I learn from the dopamine detox? We live most of our lives without controlling our own actions. Destructive habits habits make us crave instant gratification in our phone and social media where you spend hours a day unaware of how much time you're wasting. I've learned to use my time better and get more out of my days and I hope to continue this trajectory to train my brain to enjoy the beautiful things in life and not get caught in an endless loop on my phone. I started this project with the hope of improving my life. Everything has not become perfect but you shouldn't strive for perfection either. Life is all about cherishing yeah. the small moments, reading a book, practicing a skill, winning, oh. getting better, and all we can do is take the next step on the journey of life. This has been my dopamine detox and my meditation journey. I hope you enjoyed this video.